So cancer is a disease of the genome. We know through, for many years of research now that mutations that occur in a normal cell generate changes which cause the behavior of the cell to change, to lose its growth inhibition, and to start to divide in an uncontrolled fashion. All the research to date has focused on the protein coding gene portion of the cancer genome. But it's only 1% of the genome, and we are ignoring the other 99%. We don't know what changes in that other 99% are responsible for how cancer is initiated and how it, how it behaves. So about four years ago, an international uh, consortium of over a thousand researchers got together to perform whole cancer genome sequencing uh, on a large set of tumors. What we did is to uh, sequence each tumor, we sequenced normal tissue, then we compared them to identify all the differences between the, uh, the cancer, cancer tumor genomes and the normal host genomes. We then collected all this information in a large open database that was accessible to computational biologists and cancer researchers and invited them to explore this data set to identify new patterns related to the non-coding portion of the genome. Before the pan-cancer project, we were able to, to find mutations and other genomic changes that explained about 70% of cancers. After pan-cancer, we're able to explain 90% of tumors. This has uh, tremendous implications for diagnostics and therapeutics. Now, in many uh, previously unknown, uh, unexplained cases, we know what the, what the change in the genome is, and we can take steps to detect those changes and to possibly correct them.